are the people? <laughs> I've never done this before. I really miss seeing your faces. Ugh. Well, today, I thought we'd start off doing my ever-beloved marker watercolors. Surprise! So, in case you don't remember from when we were in class, which seemed like forever ago, we love making these watercolors out of markers. And I know you probably got a bunch of them at home that are all dried out and gross and not juicy and not awesome, but we're going to make them awesome again. That's how it's going to go. So, first thing I'm doing, I brought this big old bucket of dried up, non-juicy, non-awesome markers. And I got my three containers here, which is kind of difficult to see because I'm new at this recording thing. And I'm going to sort them into three groups. I bet you can guess what they're going to be. Primary colors. Go ahead and say it to yourself. I knew you knew it. You know all the things. So I'm taking these and I'm just going to make a red or red-ish pink. Eh, that fits in the category. Actually, I'll do it in that order because if I go backwards, it's left to right, just like you see it. And pardon the construction that's happening in my neighborhood. Construction must go on. Um, reds, pinks, these are blues. Because I like to sort them out because... You know some colors don't mix. You know about those colors on the color wheel that they cross from each other on the color wheel. You don't want to mix them. You don't want to mix them. You know this. We've talked about this, and I may talk about it some more another time. But for now, I want to get some of my colors into categories. So I've got my yellows, I've got my blues, and I've got my reds. And that's about good. I'm not going to do all of it right now to save you from being completely bored out of your mind. So I've got a couple here. Purple. Remember that one's kind of in between. It's a little warm, a little cool. Same with that other one. You know it. Green. Where do they go? They're not primary colors. They don't really fit in that program. So we're going to just put them aside for now. We'll get back to you later. But for now, I'm getting all my beautifulness in these three sections. Ooh, fun. Might jazz it up a little bit with a little fluorescent highlighter mist. And maybe another blue. And ta-da. We got it. Also, super cool. And I had taken these, actually, you guys helped me take these off when we were at school still. And I have all these wonderful markers that I'm going to get to turn into necklaces or a portal of awesomenicity or I don't even really know what. But headbands, wind chimes, I don't know. You guys give me some ideas too. I'd love to hear it. Bam! So I got my reds, my yellows, and my blues. Then I've collected, here are some that I've already made. You saw these in the in the color lab in our classroom, in the art room. And they're making really beautiful prints on my table, actually, which I'm going to be painting at one point, but not yet. I've got all of these empty ones from Michael's. As far as I know, you can still go to Michael's and have them bring something to your car, which would be awesome. You can go, you can get like the Michael's app, you can add it into your list, and you can say, I'm gonna come and pick it up, and they're gonna bring it to you in a little bag. You give them the money, they give you the stuff, you go home, you do it. These are awesome. Tons of these. They come in a pack of 10. You got these, some of these. Also, but if you don't, you don't have to go to Michael's. You can have jars. Like, eat a whole bunch of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Empty those things out. Use it to make your water watercolors. Also, this, beans. Used to be brown beans in there. Love some brown beans. And it's not as great, though, because you can't see through it. But if you have to, this works. Um, also, takeout. Thank you, takeout. Where did I put the thing? It disappeared. Anyway, there's another container I had for um, some delicious home team 
mac and cheese that was in this thing. And it's awesome. Preferably something that can get a lid on it because you don't want all of your beautiful colors to evaporate. So, first thing I'm going to do, I gathered my materials. The things you need. Markers that are not juicy and awesome. Containers, preferably with a lid. Water. What's the word of the day almost every single day in art class? What is it? I knew you knew it. You always know it. And one more thing, if you have it, which the grocery stores and all the places are out of these right now because people are going crazy buying this stuff and making all their own hand sanitizer, rubbing alcohol. Just 91% antiseptic alcohol. Go get this in the first aid section if you can find it. Have them bring it to your car, however you want to do it. Or you might have it in the medicine cabinet already. Teeny, teeny, tiny bit of this. Or another thing that's hard to find right now, soap. Teeny, teeny bit of soap. So gather those belongings and I will be right back. Get the belongings and maybe like a rag or something and definitely I have a table that's got a bunch of paint on it. I'll show you. My table's got tons of paint on it and stuff. And I love that. Like, that's what my tables do. But you probably might not have something like that. Maybe you do. I don't know. Then you can go get newspaper or, like, a old towel or something just to protect the surface that you're working with. So your mama don't get mad at you. Okay. This is Burke. He's an amazing mammal. Yeah. Burke likes to do art too. Burke is going to paint with us a little bit later. Probably not with the marker watercolors as he does not have opposable thumbs and is unable to use a paintbrush. But he has large paws that are very good for putting into paint and making prints. Is that right, Bert? That's me. That's Bert. He's an amazing male. You can mention that. Trying out some different angles. Seeing how this will work. Little document projector. Boop! Alright, things are, that may or not, may not have been mentioned. Markers have to be water-based. That means Sharpies are not going to work. It's very sad. Because I know Sharpies are laying around, feeling left out, feeling like somebody's going to throw them away or bring them to the Crayola people and recycle them or whatever. We really want to make the best of our markers and have them have the best lives they can. So we're going to choose things for our watercolors that are water soluble. I'm not sure about these. I haven't tried it yet. It says Sharpie on it. Oh. But I don't know. It might be water-based. I don't know. Dry erase markers, like Expo markers? Not sure. Gonna test it out. Bic. This guy. Not sure. But I do know things like this. Like the rose art, like the Crayola. Those things are gonna be awesome. Okay, so we got that. And look what I found. Gray. Found it. Yeah, PS Home Team hasn't been open for a while. This is from a long time ago. I promise this watch is an old delicious not anymore. Got my containers ready. Also, these are fun. These are pretty great. Not sure how my markers are going to stand up in it, but we're going to try it out. Um, also for my book. They know me there. So, and I got my water. Boop! Got some water. It's ready. We don't need to pour it yet, though. And I got my alcohol. And I got my rag which is awesome. My rags even make me happy. Look at that. Like, look at all the fun activities it's been through. It goes a lot of places. Actually, not that many places. It does a lot of things. Anyway, first things first, I'm going to take the lid off one of these, and I'm just going to make some blue. I'm going to stick some of my blues up on the... I'm going to put it in there, see what happens. If, when we're done, all the colors out of that tip, I know it worked. If it's not, it probably didn't work, but whatever, we'll stick it in there anyway. Put in my blues, 
put in my blues, put in my blues. I like to put in a whole bunch of it. That way it makes it really saturated and vibrant and amazing and fabulous. So there's my blues. I'm gonna put it down. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'll keep that there. Let's see if this works. Probably gonna work with the shorter markers better. This guy. He's the longest one and he fits. Hooray. There we go. Put him in. You know I love a nice golden. Look at that. It's not going to work. Let's work on that one right there. We'll stick it in there anyway. I love a nice golden yellow. So this, I got a little snuck a little orange in there. Non-primary colors. Whoops. But I know that since orange and yellow are next to each other on the color wheel, they're friends. They get along. They make awesome colors together. So, eh, let's go put them all in there. Yellow takes a lot. Remember when we were doing mixing our colors? You guys are gonna, hmm, yeah, put you in. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to leave it. Yeah. It's getting a little thick in there. Sorry, Sharpie, you're coming back later. Highlighter. And then, boop, boop, one more. Um, what was I saying? what I was talking about. That happens all the time. You know why? Because it's coffee time in America and chocolate time. You know this because this is when we usually have class and I always have coffee and I don't have it here. Do you see it? I don't see it. I need to get it. There we go. Okay. I got my reds. I got my yellows. I got my blues. And look, there's like not a whole lot of space for some other ones. And look, some of it's already coming off on the bottom. It's like, let me out! I want to come and make beautiful colors. Then, yellow. We've got lots of colors in there. It's filled up. See if you can do that. I mean, obviously, as an art teacher, I have a lot of used markers. So I have a pretty great supply to work from. And if you don't have that much, it's okay. But if you don't have that much, that means you need to use just a teeny bit of water. So I have, like, you know, a bunch of markers in there. 10, 12 markers. And look how much water I'm putting in it. Let's see if I can make this work. Not much water. Not very much. That's not a lot of water. Looks like all coming out already. God, that's going to be a great color. Look at that. Fun. And then this one. Remember? Oh, that's what I was talking about. Remember when we were making the color wheels and we we're trying to mix colors and things? The yellow is not as like powerful. Well, we found the red to be super, super powerful, but the yellow was not as much. So maybe just use a little bit less water with the yellow, especially if you have three markers, and a little bit of water in the blue. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the blue is already shaking it up, making things happen. Then, if you have that rubbing alcohol. This is where you want to put a little bit in. Just the tiniest bit, like a few drops. That's so it doesn't get gunky and glompy. That was the word we came up with, wasn't it? <laughs> I think we were talking about the word glompy a lot last time. It applies to so many things, you know? So that's going to keep it so it doesn't get all glompy. And I found that out the hard way when, um, let's see if this works. <laughs> Whoa, that's close. Sorry. Whoa. <sighs> now I feel weird. I'm in front of the camera now. Whoa. What was I saying? I found it out the hard way when I made my first watercolor marker watercolors. Um, I made all these great colors, and then I didn't use them all right away. And they got clumpy. They got a whole bunch of, like, gross-looking, like, gummy looking stuff in there. It looked like some monster was growing and I was not interested. So, and it made it so I couldn't really paint and like all those streaky spots would be there, which can be cool, but then it stinks and we don't want to get involved in that. So, I'm going to look back at this video and be like, whoa, that face. Whatever. We all know each other. It's all good. We all love each other. <laughs> so you leave your markers in there. And this is why I made it the first video. 
I'm going to leave our markers in there because we want them to sit there for a few days. This is your first activity. So we'll do just our primary colors and we get to play with that a little bit more another time. So, if your hands look like mine, go wash them. Pick your favorite song you can sing for 20 seconds or more. Yeah? Happy birthday. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Something like that. Anything. Anything. John Prine song, maybe? Good stuff. But make sure you're washing them off the best you can before you go and touch stuff. Or go play outside and have fun. And then go wash them. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Okay. I thought of something else. And I got my glasses so that I can see what I'm doing. I thought of a way to get Sharpie involved because it was like, it wasn't like in not being involved. So what I like to do is um, I like to put the date on my containers so that I can see when I made it and kind of experiment with how long it works, how long it takes to make something look really juicy and delicious amazing. So, uh, what's today? Oh, Lord. It's the 30th. It's the 30th of March. What is going on? 3.30. And I put that on there in my little piece of tape. You can get, um, you can get a little piece of paper and any kind of tape. I like, I mean, I got this. This is stuff that a lot of people have around the house. If you don't have that, you can just write it right on the container if you want to also. Um, but I stick it on there. That way I remember when I made it. Ta-da! And Sharpie's like, yay, thanks for getting me involved. And so I write that on there. That way I know. And um, another thing I thought about is, so you want to always start with just a little bit of water. Because you can always add more water. It's easier to add more water than it is to add more markers. Especially if you have a limited supply of markers. So, ta-da! And what is that? It's a baby red wasp. I'm, nope. No. I did not, I did not send an invitation. I mean, I love everybody, but all people are welcome. Usually animal, not him. I don't know what to do about him. Nope. Just go inside and he can go mind his business somewhere else and talk to some other people. Um, anyway, I got my colors all lined up. And do. Beep. And so, yeah, adding just a little bit of water. You can always add more water. So a little bit's probably going to evaporate. And that's okay because it'll, and some of it will go back up into the marker. So you can always add just a little bit more water. Um. And remember, don't add too much of that alcohol. If you don't have alcohol, you put a little, little bit of soap. You don't want it to be too soapy because then it'll get like sudsy. You don't really want sudsy paint most of the time. I mean, maybe you do, but just don't add that much. Don't only do a little bit at a time and then you can add more of whatever you have. Okay. I think that's all. This was fun. So totally never done that before, but whatever. Just throw it out there and having fun with it because let's see. What's a quote I could leave you with today? I mean, this is kind of a good one. Also do your schoolwork. Have to do that and then play. Get that stuff done. Do some fun reading. I'm going to get some good books going, some good, um, like, art books, and just some of my favorite picture books. There's a lot of beautiful ones out there. If you have any ideas for some, please tell me. I'd love to hear about some more ideas. Um, all right. Have fun. <laughs>